It's a bit of a nasty one out today. It's like a snowy, sleety, rainy mix of crap. Made it to the boat ramp alive, so that's always a plus. We're looking to get probably about five inches of snow today, good strong north wind, and we're taking the final quack out on a lake to try and traffic some birds in. So ideally we'll be able to shoot our limit quick so we can get home before the really bad stuff hits us. So it's time to get stuff loaded up and go set up. Hers like a champ. Well, made it safe and sound. I'm not exactly as far as I wanted to go, but figured I should probably play it a little bit safe today and set up a little closer to the boat ramp. I've got the motor off of the final quack, and so we're gonna just sit in it. I can't drag it up that way. The mud's too sticky and it just ain't gonna work. So we're gonna just sit in the water. Hopefully the snow kind of covers up the layout boat and it helps it blend in, but we've got these two dozen mallards out here. Hopefully something's gonna happen. I think I just heard a shot, so. I'm going to get buttoned up here and hopefully shoot a few birds. Here we go, boys. I figured I would try Elliot's layout lounge and it's not working. Okay. It's like too tall, so I can't get my. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Well, after that group of mallards, it's been a whole lot of nothing. Haven't seen anything flying. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I figured I would have seen a lot more birds flying around than I have. I've just seen like that one group of mallards and then, you know, a few divers buzzing around. So, a little bit under my expectations, but I got a question for you guys when it comes to like snowy hunts and stuff with your decoys. Like if you look at the decoys, they're covered in snow. So, do you guys hunt with them covered in snow? Do you go out there and kick off the snow? What do you guys do? Have you noticed a difference between having snowy decoys and not snowy decoys on, on a snowy day hunt? Just kind of curious. Um, I've done both. I've shot them over snowy decoys. I've shot them over decoys I constantly go out and clean off. So let me know down in the comments. And while you're there, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that. The ice on these trees behind me keeps cracking. And it makes me think that the branches are cracking and one's going to come crashing down on me. So I don't think it's going to happen, but you never know. Kind of scary. Hopefully something happens today. Went through all this trouble, getting covered in snow. Something's got to happen. I think it's safe to say that this was not a very productive hunt. I didn't see anything really. And uh, got to take the boat out, so that's fun. I'm going to take you guys on the ride back to the boat ramp, uh, show you guys kind of how I work the boat and stuff, but that motor was a freaking champ this morning. I just putts it all the way over here, just basically on idle the whole time. I didn't want to run into any tree stumps and, you know, the snow made it really hard to see. So be careful when you're out here, uh, whether you're kayaking, you're using a layout boat, or you're just in any kind of other boat or just walking in. 
you got to be careful because it's dangerous, especially in these kind of conditions, either just driving here, that was dangerous, but especially out here in the water when it's freezing cold, I mean, it, the bad things can definitely happen. So this, wear it. I don't care how cool you are, how many duck hunts you've been on, always wear your PFD. So let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, boys. You'd think that I could launch this thing in some super shallow water, but it doesn't necessarily work that way because it's got some it's got some wheels on the back of it, which, I mean, it's really convenient for loading and unloading, but not for going shallow. So, oh, the sticky mud. You got to get this thing out into the water a little ways. See, we're still dragging on the bottom. I mean, we're kind of ankle deep right here. I'd say for this thing to be kind of floating and driving, you need probably six to eight inches. Okay. It's a little better there. This is like the perfect motor for small layout boats. It's short, you can spin it around, plop it in there. It works pretty good. And slap this kill switch on me. You gotta always throw it to choke first. Should fire up. We'll let her warm up a minute. and roll boys just like whoa there's a stump just like that we're off Much easier when you can see. And we're done. Snow added a lot of weight. I didn't think I was going to get that back up in there. Well, that was kind of fun. I was able to throttle that thing a little better since I could see, but. It's no speed demon, it's not gonna win any races, but it'll, it'll get me there. Um, no issues with it. It just puts too long, man. So, I'm gonna get home. We got probably one and a half, two inches of snow already. I think we're predicted to get like five to seven inches. So, I'm gonna try and get out of here while the roads aren't crappy and hopefully make it home in one piece to hunt another day. I'm not disappointed that I went out. You can't expect to kill them every day, but I am soaked to the bone <laughs> and ready for like a hot cup of coffee. Ooh, I've got some. Now I think about it. You know, I'm kind of surprised that today went the way it did. Normally, this lake's pretty decent on cold front days. Um, 
I did notice when I was watching the weather last night that the storm is moving from the south. I've never really paid attention to that before. And uh, I wonder if that's why we haven't gotten a push. It's because it's moving from the south, not the north. But oh well, We've got a few days left to chase these ducks around. Hopefully we can get on one good one. I don't know. But I do find it just a little bit odd that we didn't get at least one duck. But that's hunting. That's why they call it hunting, not getting. So just out of curiosity, I want to look on Onyx and see how far away from the boat ramp I went. Because it didn't take me very long, so I'm guessing I didn't go very far. I use Onyx all the time when I'm out hunting. Um, Let's see here. I use the line distance tool the most out of everything just because I'm trying to figure out like how far exactly I'm going. So like if I'm gonna portage a kayak or drag the kayak away or I'm going on a boat ride, I'm trying to figure out what the fastest route is. So that was about 800 yards that I went, which is not very far now I think about it. But um, not a bad day unless Yeah, I didn't go as far as I thought I did. I should have looked at the map this morning, but it is what it is. Let's get out of here. It's a bit chilly. I'm soaked to the bone. And it's snowing. Back home, safe and sound. The roads are actually pretty clear. I was kind of surprised. The old snowy beast. <laughs> it's freaking heavy when it gets logged with snow. It's crazy, man. I couldn't even get it in the back of the truck. But, you know, gave it the old college try today. This snow is no joke. Check this out. It's snowing a lot. But I tried to make the most of this video, um, even though we didn't get any birds. But... You know, I honestly enjoy taking this little boat out. I've always loved being on water with a boat with a motor. It's something that I never really grew up with. So when I was a kid, my parents would take us to a cabin in Minnesota for a week for vacation every summer, and we'd rent a boat with a motor. And I just absolutely loved it. And I've always loved being on the water in a motorboat. Kayaks are cool. They've got their place. But I just, I just love being on the water, going kind of quick, it's, it's just fun for me. So that, that's probably the highlight of my day. I haven't taken this boat out in probably a month. So it was nice to get out there again. Not going to use that layout lounge again. We're going to use backrest if we ever take it out. But hopefully we can connect with some birds this weekend. Duck season closes on Sunday. So today is Friday. we got two days left until duck season closes for the split. So hopefully we can connect with something. But until then, we're going to keep on keeping on. Try and keep the driveway clear, do husband stuff. It's kind of how it rolls. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you on the next video.